Chef Don, get a gourmet. We're back. Now, I'm making a cornstarch slurry right here. Got a little cup. Somebody's really got to come up with a better design for these boxes. I know the stuff inside is cheap and the box probably costs more than it, but come on. I got to spill this stuff every time I want to use it. You know what I mean? When you got black on and you're spilling cornstarch and then you got to go walking out in the dining room. Come on, it's just not cool. All right, so anyway. So I've made a really thick cornstarch slurry here. And of course, we're going to thicken it before we start working on, um, on creating a flavor. Uh, I'm going to give you a can of cornstarch all over my counter. Man. So, <laughs> pray for better days. Better days on the street. For all the little children I meet Better days on my neighborhood Don't you understand? Can't we be understood? Oh, alright. So, um, so this, oh, you've been looking at me real close up the whole time, haven't you? I forgot about that. It's been a while since I filmed America. So, I'm going to grab my whisk here. I don't need no special whisk. I got a good one in there somewhere. So, but I'm just gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. I just add the corn, the corn starch. Um, I added enough water and beef stock to coat. As you can see, it's still, it's still like wet, but it's right below the surface. I'm running into material. Um, and now we're gonna season. And um. I'm going to back you guys up <laughs> so you can be looking at my, instead of probably like my jaw, we looking at my, my neck or something. <laughs> Alright, it's already, it's already starting to boil, so that means the cornstarch is already, and you can see this, look, I'm going to let you see this. Alright, see that sheen on top of it? And it's just starting to thicken just a little. Uh, that's all I want. I just want a little thickening. And um, cornstarch is just beautiful for this. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a little something sneaky, 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 sneaky. All right, so we've got beef, we've got, we've got mirepoix, we've got starch, right? We've got all this broth, we've got all, we've got a fair amount of fat in there. And before I even taste it, there's one thing that we can add to this that's not there. It's an acid. Voila. So I'm just going to add maybe like a quarter cup pickle juice. One of the greatest acids ever created is pickle juice. Very subtle, wonderful. Now we're going to flavor. Now we're going to start building our a season because we should have our flavor at about a, ni a nice round place. So we're just going. We're going for the gravy right now. We're pretty close. The salt's on. So um. I'm going to get a little bit more of that flavor. So that was a good size, little, about that big I went. Okay. I'm going to do half that again. And then uh, it's plenty salty. We're going to get on the grinder here. Do some work with the grinder. Yeah, whatever. I got white pepper right here. That'll do the trick. And um, pretty much... This 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 is uh, gonna be the final product, and hopefully I didn't put too much beef stock in there because I'm getting a lot of salt now in my mouth. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of everything in there. Well, a little beef, a little barley, a little veggie.
be tasty. Here we are with our finished product. And, uh, yeah. So you can see it. Very nice. Beef and Barley by Chef John, the Ghetto Gourmet. Um, this the whole series. Now, I want you to look back if you haven't caught any of them. If you're on food stamps, if you're poor like me, because I got injured, however you want to put it, look, man, I don't care. They're struggling professionals. I was talking to a, an intern, and she's like, I ain't got no money. <laughs> While she was stitching up my head one day, right? A little, little something there. And, um, and so I told her about my site, and she was like really excited about it. So this, this isn't in for poor people. This is for everybody, okay? This is for America to eat smart, eat better, and stop killing ourselves with this crap that they're putting in our food. So maybe this drought thing that's going on is going to open our eyes to the fact that we eat too much crap. And all those people, including myself, who ate crap for the last 25 years because it's been thrown at us by the media and this consumer system here is going to start to realize what food is really about. Food is really about enjoyment. It's about feeding your family, making your family strong. It's about being healthy. That's what food is about. It's not about sales. Okay. It's not about sales. It's not about sales. It's not about money. I'm going to say that again. It's not about sales. It's not about sales. It's not about drama. It's about taking care of your family. Because the best things that have ever come sometimes have come around the table at a dinner, breaking the bread. Chef John, Ghetto Gourmet. Peace.